Hey y'all, this is Willie Bill, and I'm here on the outdoor show to talk about outdoor things and sometimes demonstrate and sometimes not the proper use of said things. I'm apologize up front that today I'm kind of just trusting the internet on this one and I'm not going to test this thing. I don't have sponsorship. I don't have someone paying for these things for me. It's all just coming out of my pocket. And uh, this here, this is called Goop. And it's meant to be an emergency tire inflator for a bicycle. Uh, I think this thing is like 15 bucks. Now, I can't just burn 15 bucks to, to test this, to find out if it works. Because part of testing it would mean damaging a tire on purpose. Then you insert this stuff. So now you've got a tire that's been repaired, but it's full of goop. And you've got an empty can of goop, which means you no longer have your safety fallback. I just burned like 50 bucks to test the darn thing for you. So we need sponsorships. I guess that's what I'm saying. We need sponsorships. I need a couple bucks to help pay for these products. And I promise I do a real bang up review on it uh since we don't have that we're going to go about this in a traditional willy bill way we're going to talk about what we got in our hand and share that with you so what do i have here it's called goop how did i find out about this well i saw some people with bicycles and they got a big old can strapped to their bike I said, what is that can? Turns out it's an emergency inflator. So, that sounds tremendous. Wow. That's good. I hope those people are having fun. Backfiring and popping all the way down the street. If you couldn't hear that, it was backfiring and popping. Some noise a car. Um, what was I saying? Goop. So I saw this strapped to a bike, emergency inflator. Now you're going to normally carry like a pump, patch kit, maybe some tire plugs if you have tubeless tires, maybe patches if you're running tubes, maybe both if you're like me and you're over prepared because you really don't want to get stuck somewhere when you're out on your bicycle. This is another option. Goop. Goop. I saw this video online, guy called it Gup the whole time. I don't know what that guy was up to. Um, the idea is this thing has got uh, pressurized air in it, CO2, and then it's got a sealant in it. So you get a hole in your tire, you can take this thing, and it's going to fill up your tire, fix the hole, and hopefully you're going to make it home. That's the plan. As for the form factor, there's two options of this one out there. There's one that has a uh, hose on it. And one that does not. Now, the hose one looks cool. And you're like, oh, I can see how this thing operates. But I did a little research, and it looks like most of the complaints of this stuff failing is because that hose fails. I don't know if it has to do with the connection. I don't know if it's the hose itself. But that's where the failure seems to occur. Places where I plan to use this is going to be a large wheel. It's going to be a 29-inch wheel, 700C road bike wheel. I'm not using this on a BMX bike. So I got plenty of room to get this can in between the spokes and insert it. That's a very strange movement. Get this in between the spokes and insert it. Insert it. Look, I do a remix on my own. You don't even have to do it. <laughs> okay, so I got space. So I figure I'll do this one because the way that they're failing is on them other ones that got the tube. So this is one I got. Let's see what they tell us. Seal inflate ride on. Works with tubes, tubeless, or tubular tires. Pretty much everything. Can do a 29 inch mountain bike in seconds. Injects through the valve core. Compatible with most sealants. No extra tools needed. One pulls up on a bottle. The other pushes down on the yellow top. What? Oh, in case you can't drive it into the valve stem. Okay, so there's a whole list of instructions on the back of this. And it tells you that you're supposed to have the wheel turn at 12 o'clock position. You insert this. You're going to have to push down on the yellow part while you push the can up. 
once that thing's full, spin that wheel. Spin the wheel, let the sealant get into holes and seal you up. Uh, I like the form factor, the one that I got. I also got this little strap, which this little strap is meant to go on like a box frame. And then you can like tighten it up against the tube, put this around, and you've got your goop strapped to your bike. Pretty good. Now I realize a huge failure in the way I'm doing this review because I'm just talking about that it says the word goop and it's got an umlaut over the U and that's why it's not gup and it's goop. I'm telling you what the instructions say on the can which you could probably go on the internet and find and I'm not actually testing it to tell you if it's any good or not so I apologize if you were hoping for that level of detail and if you send me one of these I'll gladly test it. I'll test it for real. I'll film it up for you. And I'll put it out here on the internet. But unless you want to sponsor me, Goop, or at least send me one of these things for free, I'm going to have to skip on that part. So, as far as form factor, looks awesome. Stuff I read online, as long as you don't get the one with the tube, this one's supposed to be pretty reliable. And uh, I'm going to be sticking this on a bike. Probably a bike that I use for like a race or a bike event. And uh, hope that it works. I think it will. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe. See what we come up with you for you next week. And uh, we'll see you then. Take care.